Kinderchen, Kinas. My name is Lina and welcome to my humble YouTube channel and this video. Today I want to talk about the J-pop convention in Denmark. As some of you might know, I'm an artist and small business owner from northern Germany and as such I attend anime and manga conventions and also gaming conventions to sell my products. J-PopCon was my first convention of the year and my first convention ever outside of Germany. So I wanted to break down how everything went, the positive and negative aspects of the convention and how much money I earned. Okay guys, let's do a really quick room tour of the hotel I choose for the J-pop convention and Copenhagen. So this is my little desk and this is my wardrobe and this is my TV. This is my trash can. This is my bed and this is <laughs> the super tiny bathroom. That's it. So yes, this room is extremely small but it was also extremely cheap for what we are getting. So we actually ended up only paying like 300 euros in total for two people, for two rooms, for three nights. And that's pretty cheap. It's very close to the airport. It's also very close to the main station and to the convention so I can't complain honestly we only sleep here anyway like it's obviously not the best or the most luxurious but because I didn't know how the convention would go and if it would be a good convention or not I thought I'm gonna take something that's really really cheap and see if I make a profit first <laughs> so yeah this is my room I hope you guys like it The J-PopCon is a three-day convention in Denmark's capital, Copenhagen. I attended with one helper and we packed my car and drove from Flensburg to Copenhagen, which is round about a three and a half hours drive. You have to cross a few bridges to get to the island of Sjælland, but other than that, the drive is pretty straightforward. J-PopCon is held in Copenhagen's Digi Bühne, which has its own congress hall and multiple small buildings and a hotel that are in the surrounding area. The dealer's hall and artist alley was in one of these extra buildings and I got myself one of four pro booths that were offered for the first time this year at the convention. The booth measures three times three meters. We got two tables by default, but were told we could ask for more as long as they fit in our dedicated space. The tables had a measurement of 1 meter 80 times 80 centimeters each. Since the convention was only a three and a half hours drive away, we drove there on Friday and attended the convention straight away, which started at 4 p.m. and went to 10 p.m. This was definitely the hardest day for us by far, since we not only had the drive that day, but also had to do the setup for the convention and then sell all my stuff for six hours. Also, since I'm still recovering from my broken leg, I had a lot of trouble with swelling in my foot from sitting in the car and from standing at the booth. Okay, so the first day of the convention is over. As you can see, I look like trash. Um, conventions are always super stressful. I always feel so tired afterwards. I just went showering. We're back at the hotel. Um, Christina, who is my editor, but also my helper for this convention, she already went to bed and I'm just trying to wind down. I'm also trying to take care of my foot a little bit. I really had a lot of fun today like the Jake Pop convention it's really fun it's a cozy little convention it's not a super big expo or anything but it's a nice cute convention with a lot of very sweet people attending the staff is really accommodating and nice but the fact that my leg hurt so bad and yes guys I know you're tired of hearing about me having a broken leg or have Having had a broken leg, there's just still some things broken and it takes time to heal, apparently, if you had a broken leg. But um can take up to two years to fully heal and that sucks. So the blood flow is kind of wonky, so the foot swells up very easily. If I'm sitting down or standing up too much, 
like I need to have it elevated but that's obviously hard if you're driving in a car for five hours and it's even harder when you're standing at a convention so that caused me a lot of pain today <laughs> um, but I still enjoyed the convention I'm just really tired and I hope after good night's rest I'm gonna feel a lot better tomorrow and also look better tomorrow and we have we can have a good day a second day at J Popcorn. Let's go. Day two started really good. The weather was much nicer and we got a few hours of sunshine in that day. Our booth was situated very close to the exit so we definitely were excited that it wasn't nearly as windy as the day before. Saturday was definitely the longest day as we had to stay at the convention from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. So it was a 12 hours day for us. Sales went really well that day, everyone was super nice and I even got to have a look around, check out the dealer's hall and artist alley. And this was day two. Um, I just got back to the hotel room. Today was really nice. There was a lot of people attending. I'm really tired. The day was better than yesterday though, because of the whole traveling and stuff. Yesterday was a lot and setting up. So today felt better. Yeah, sales were really good. People are super nice. Again, the J Popcorn stuff is really good. Let's see how much money we made. I'm actually not sure yet. I can first see that tomorrow, but I will update you guys. I'm gonna go shower now and I'm gonna get ready for bed. Also, status update on my leg. It looks terrible. <laughs> this is the good one. Uh, this is a bad one. Yeah, it's not looking good. I think I really need to cool this and I hope it goes down a bit. See you for day three. Day three, it was the last day and the convention opened at 10 p.m. and ended at 5 p.m. So another seven hours of talking to people, selling products, goofing around and complaining about my leg before we could finally take everything down and get back to the hotel. We were super tired at this point, but again, even the last day was a lot of fun. We stayed at the hotel for another night before packing up and driving home the next day. Yay! guys so day three is over this was the last day of the convention i had a ton of fun as i already said the j popcorn is really nice um also the last day was really good uh setting everything up is always a little bit annoying and then uh, taking everything down again is even more annoying so i'm a little bit tired i showered already i got some food and then we're going home again tomorrow and then let's check how much money I made this weekend. So these were my free convention days. And now I quickly want to talk about what I think of the J Popcorn convention, what I think was positive, what was negative, and how much money I earned. Here are the positive aspects of the J Popcorn convention in Copenhagen. It's a good small to mid-sized convention with over 4,500 tickets sold this year and over 8,000 people attending. Denmark has no language barrier. Even if you do not speak or understand Danish, people are very willing to speak English to you. I speak fluent Danish, but my helper did not and she had no problem selling to people over the weekend at all. The staff of the J-Pop convention was super sweet and accommodating. We got one free warm meal at the convention every day, which was already included in our booth price. The staff also came around throughout the day and offered free drinks like coffee and water. Since I had problems with my foot still swelling, the staff offered me an extra chair so I could elevate my leg and also came to me multiple times throughout the convention asking me how I was doing. So again, insanely nice and caring stuff. Since I had a pro booth, my table was a little bit more expensive, but standard Arts Alley tables are rather cheap and you get a 1 meter 80 times 80 centimeter table, which is really big. 
Attendance for the convention was really good and everyone was very welcoming, sweet and people were interested in buying in the artist alley. You are allowed to sell fan art at the convention. So if you like to make fan merch and art, you can do that at the JPopCon. Here are my negative aspects that you might need to consider before attending the JPop convention. Everyone pays with card or mobile pay, so make sure to bring a card reader so you don't miss out on those sales. Also, almost no one used PayPal. Um, we do this a lot in Germany that when people don't want to pay with card or with cash at a convention, we also offer PayPal. Danish people do not use PayPal anymore. As I mentioned, they use mobile pay, which is an app that is only available in Denmark. So as a foreigner, you can't really use that option. And I would say this definitely put us at a disadvantage because I know for a fact that we at least missed out on two sales because they only wanted to pay with mobile pay. If you come to Denmark and you're driving by car through Germany, you will have to cross a few bridges and one of them is a bridge called Storbelsbro. You can't enter the bridge for free and you will have to pay charges for going across the bridge. You will have to do this for both ways. And now finally and lastly, let's talk about how much money I made at the JPopCon. And all these prices have been converted to euros. I made a total of 6,000 euros over the entire weekend of the JPopCon convention, which would put this convention at the last place of how much money I earn normally at conventions. But it was also a much smaller convention than I normally attend and I brought a lot less stuff because we were kind of restricted by how much could fit in my car. And then we obviously have the expenses for the entire weekend. So for my pro booth at the JPopCon I paid 440 euros. The hotel costs were 310 euros for two people for three nights, which was really cheap. Then I paid 90 euros in gas money to get to and from the convention. Then I paid a total of 70 euros to get back and forth over the bridge from Sjelland. And I paid 165 euros in total for parking in the parking garage over the weekend. And this one I'm actually a little bit upset about because honestly, if the JPopCon wants to treat pro booths as vendors and we need to be there the entire day, I also expect to be able to purchase a parking ticket or at least be able to have parking accommodation closer to the convention. 165 euros for parking is absolutely insane. And lastly, for food, I paid 160 euros, which I think overall could have been kept a little bit lower if we would have went grocery shopping before going over to Denmark, but we didn't. We just bought something along the way and that kind of added up. So in total, I spent 1,235 euros over the entire weekend. And if we deduct that from my 6,000 euros that I earned, I made 4,657 euros in total. And to be fair, I didn't include the production cost for each item that I sold because I also have an online shop and I already have this stock here with me. So I normally don't include that, but you would also obviously have to add your production cost if you are making new products, especially just for that convention. I think for the size of the convention, it's a pretty good outcome and I would definitely recommend the convention overall. Just make sure to remember the negative aspects I mentioned in this video so you can prepare a little bit better than I did. Overall, just from how nice the staff was, how nice Danish people are and how willing they are to spend money on small businesses and handmade goods, I would consider this convention one of my favorites and I will definitely apply again next year. So this was my entire JPopCon experience. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you got something out of it. And maybe some of you want to check out the JPopCon convention next year as well. As mentioned, I will definitely try to apply again. I had a lot of fun and even though I had a little bit of trouble with my foot, the weekend itself was super, super nice. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope I see you again for next week's video. Next week is actually gonna be a normal studio vlog again. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe and maybe leave a comment. Have a good rest of your day. Bye bye.